Ah, good morning. I'm Chris Sampson, the president of Sago Resources. Uh, we're standing now at the present uh, uh, end of Trench 96, although we're extending it further than the Baco is operating right now. Uh, the important thing about this trench is it's located in the head scarp of the slide zone and we have various trenches down here which contained copper, uh, very excellent copper mineralization in the 1 to 2% range and we feel that this slide material has come out of this area. This is the head scar from which the material was de derived and we're actually seeing some mineralization in this trench Although when you go to this area, to the east of me, we get into what appears to be a leach cap over the mineralization in uh, the further trenches to the east. Vic. Yes, I'm Vic Prado here uh, just talking to Chris. We are at the south end of Trench 96 and just at this, very close to us, just at the bottom of the trench, it may be hard to see but there is some, some bedrock which is recognizable microdiorite and which has mineralization in it. Uh, now, most of the trench, however, is a part of that highly smashed, fractured, oxidized, essentially a Gaussian with no visible mineralization in it, except that in the middle of the trench, there is a little bit of bedrock uh, poking up and it also has mineralization. As Chris said, we are at the head scarp of the area that from which the slide of the regal zone which is slide material that has come from somewhere is believed to have come and that is oxide material which contains excellent uh, malachite azurite native copper mineralization with no visible enrichment but running one percent and better over considerable uh, portion of it so basically the bottom line is if there is an egg, there's got to be a chicken. And if this oxide has got to come from somewhere, there's obviously copper, and there's got to be a sulfide body of similar grade, you know, I would say close to 1% or somewhat less or more, whatever, but nevertheless good appreciable mineralization in sulfides that gave that oxide. This is considered to be one of the origin of these slides, and uh, there is another one to the south of us, and um, which uh, we are going to investigate. The, the hoe is working immediately south of us and extending the trench further south. So in summary, we have this oxide cap, this uh, Gaussian cap, pardon me, which uh, we mentioned prior, which goes at least 200 meters to the, to the east, and it's at least 100 meters north-south. And this is the western end of this oxide cap, as far as we know, although in the gully below us to the west, there is more oxidized material, more faulted material, and more oxide uh, mineralization. Uh, this probably is considered to be the source of the slide of Rigo. Now we all have to find out what's underneath and see if we can get the sulfides, which must have originated the oxide. Yeah.